Hello everybody, welcome to this video. We want to show you how to install Windows Azure SDK for Visual Studio 2012. Let's begin. First, let me just go to Visual Studio. Uh, here we got Visual Studio 2012. We can uh, get started. Clicking New. Sorry for these messages. Click New. We got Go Windows SDK Azure. You can uh, click OK. But we are not able to begin a new project because we need to download the Azure SDK. Just click download. After you click download, you're going to go to uh, the download link for Windows Azure SDK. Okay, we got this page. Let me just copy this link and go to... Um, Open a new tab here, click paste, enter. So you gotta go to Windows Azure SDK here. You can you just gotta click on install Visual Studio 2012. All right, so we are downloading the uh, Windows Azure uh, Web API, Microsoft Web API uh, for Windows Azure. It's, it's gonna require some time. All right, let me just pause the video. All right, now we can continue. Uh, you can see here Windows Azure for .NET. We can click install. All right, it's gonna require us to accept the terms. You can see here we just download a SQL Server uh, for Azure and some dependencies, some other dependencies. It's about 100 megabyte. So we need the web deploy for deploying ASP.NET or MVC4 to uh, Azure, we got some tools, some storage tools, some libraries for .NET, Azure emulator, and uh, SDK, SQL Server extensions, and other stuff. So, click accept. Uh, it's going to require you to uh, close the Visual Studio, so I'm just going to uh, close it. And here for uh, the SQL Server Management Studio, also close it. So I'm just going to click OK, click Accept, and this is going to require some time, maybe uh, five, six minutes. We're going to wait until we finish installing uh, Windows Azure SDK. All right, we're still downloading. All right, once downloading Windows Azure SDK, you can go to your account. So just click on Windows Azure account. You can see it just logged in into my account. You can see here is the home. Uh, you can see here uh, pricing, other stuff. I just want to go navigate to my account of other features uh, I just uh, logged into, like ClearDB, I just sign in to a free account for um, MySQL database. You can see the subscription that I have. Uh, I got my free account here. Um, so you're going to see all my payment and stuff, other stuff related to my payment. Um, as you can see here, I, I didn't use... Uh, I don't pay uh, recently because I'm using another account. Uh, but you can see here the preview of the features that I have right now. Um, so I'm just, um, I don't have any current plan for this month. Just, you can see here, you can see, you can see Windows Azure Cache. You can see Import Export Service or SQL Database, Azure Scheduler, Developer Services, and other stuff. Um, hypervisor and billing alert services and stuff like that. You can go to navigate to portal and in portal you can see uh, you gotta go to the main uh, dashboard for your Azure account. So you can create a new server, you can create a new database server and do all that stuff. 
So we're still downloading. You can see here we are extracting the files, the SPA.NET um, uh, SQL Azure support. All right, why we are navigating to SQL Azure. I'm just going to try to go to my account. All right, you can see uh, over here I got uh, I went to uh, Windows Azure portal. You can see I don't have any website, I don't have any mobile service, uh, I don't have any virtual machine. Okay, I just have all the services except uh, I just have one add-on which is for my SQL. I got a free plan here. All right, this is pretty much fine. You can get started with a new website. Uh, with a new SQL database and uh, trying to use uh, all the Azure features. But for now, I just want to show you the portal, what you can do uh, here. All right. So right now, uh, let me just take a look here on the installation. We are trying to finish the installation. This requires some time because SQL Azure is a platform and you need to download it, the emulator for this platform in your machine. So this requires some time. Let me pause the video until we finish with the installation. Okay, we are the last step, 28 of 28, which is installing, configuring uh, Visual Studio 2012 uh, setup helper. All right. All right, as you can see here, we got uh, Windows Azure SDK installed and uh, we're ready to go. We click continue. You can see here we go to Windows Azure. If you don't have an account, you gotta create an account. And uh, all right, you can see a lot of features here. I already got my account. Okay, you can see here create your free account for MSDN subscribers. But I already got my account, so I don't want to sign up. All right. So free trial is not available because I have already a Windows Azure subscription. All right. So the following product was successfully installed. You can see here web deploy, uh, Azure authorization, or, or and uh, authoring tools, ASP.NET uh, web tools, libraries, framework, SQL Server 2012, the what we call DECFX, and uh, SQL Server data tools, and the most important one is Azure Emulator and um, the Azure tools. So let me click finish. All right, you can see here Windows Azure SDK for Node.js. I gotta download this, and you can see here other thing for PHP. Maybe you gotta need this also. PowerShell. I'm gonna use this also. Command line tools. I'm gonna use this. Ruby. I don't want to use the one for Ruby. Uh, you can see here other SDK uh, for SQL Azure for 2013. Other one this Python, uh, Windows Matrix, Microsoft Web Matrix. I'm gonna do, use this also. Um, this is pretty much what I want to use for now. So I'm just gonna click uninstall again and accept the terms. We're gonna download these together and just gonna wait again. All right, we got this message. Uh, Microsoft Windows Management Framework 3 has finished installing successfully and require your computer to be restarted. Um, click yes to restart now. Cl or click, you know, I don't want to restart right now. Just want to make sure everything is installed, right? Everything is fine. So, after this, we ready to uh, go to the next part. We're going to explore uh, 
SQL Azure in Visual Studio, but this first part we saw how to install Windows Azure SDK and all the related things that we need on uh, uh, Windows Azure. So thank you guys for watching this video. Here's Ahmed Lassar all the time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in part two for Windows Azure and Visual Studio 2012.